What's up Zen Dude Nation and YouTube Nation and internet as a whole. Today we are doing a body breakdown for the man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. Now first off, why are we picking Cristiano to do a body breakdown? Well, here at Zendu Fitness, we promote the exact physique that this guy walks around in every day. He's athletic, he's lean, and he's a good amount of muscle mass that make him look good in a suit, but also awesome with his shirt off as well. I'm telling you, if Cristiano came up to me and he wanted to go on a date with me, I'd be like, yo man, seafood dinner on me, Red Lobster tonight, let's roll. So Cristiano, I've been doing some research on you, man, and I found out your secrets, and I'm about to share them with the whole internet world. Here's the deal. Cristiano does not stop. His football season may have an off season. That's soccer to you people from the US like me, but he doesn't stop going. I looked up his workout program and this guy's training five days a week, whether he's in season or not. So first of all, if you want to sculpt out a physique like he has, you have to build a little bit of muscle mass. He's not a huge guy, but you do have to be training a little bit. The second part of his training routine is all the stuff that he's doing sport specific to football, which is extremely explosive. That means doing sprints doing box jumps, doing agility work. This is a lot of the same stuff that we're doing over at Zendu Fitness when we talk about doing jump rope and doing fast jump rope training and learning new skills. Here's the deal guys, Ronaldo is doing a lot of exercise and you need to take that into account when you're looking at your own routine, okay? You can't just look at his nutrition regimen because this guy goes out on the soccer field and he's running for three hours at a time. You're probably not doing that in your normal life. So you need to think about getting the basic sounds for your physical training and then honing in your nutrition if you want to create the same physique as him. So here it is. As far as your fitness regimen goes, you need to do the basic lifts like he does. I would recommend doing a split maybe Monday, Wednesday, Friday, hitting your main core lifts like bench press, squats, maybe doing deadlift or military press, whatever your preference is. Beyond that, you wanna be incredibly active with your high intensity training. So you wanna be doing exercises that have all out intensity followed by complete rest. And if you can find exercises that have that pattern, they're gonna be halfway there. The second part of getting the Cristiano Ronaldo physique is honing in your nutrition. So this guy talks about all the time that he tries to get his fruits and his veggies up and he doesn't drink alcohol. And I want you to know that you don't have to follow that exactly, but keep that in mind, okay? So what does it mean when he's not drinking alcohol? It means he just has a lower overall calorie consumption than the average person or maybe the average football player. Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm sure, has his own nutritionist working on staff for him, so I'm gonna do the best I can to give you the same result that he has. So I've included a little calculator and a little tutorial here to help you calculate how much food that you need to be eating for your body. So this works for just about everyone, men and women. So I'm gonna do it for myself. I'm 26 years old as I'm making this video. I'm a man, so I'm a man, male. I weigh 185 pounds. I am six foot two, which is 74 inches. I am highly active because you guys, I'm exercising every single day and then some. Um, my goal is to lose weight, you know, I wanna stay nice and lean. So I'm gonna go down here and click calculate calories. But there's one more step. I'm a guy, I'm a man, so I'm gonna click high for protein. I'm gonna calculate it again. If I was a woman, I would calculate medium. This is for protein down here, guys. So if you're a woman, go medium, calculate again, you'll see the protein and carb fat ratio changes. If you're a man, click high protein, calculate. There you go, you get your numbers down here. Total calories, carbohydrates, protein, and fats. And once you have this, you can head over to a site like myfitnesspal.com. You can create an account here. And then on the daily, track your food intake. Whatever you're eating, just put it in there and make sure you're hitting the numbers that the calculator gave you. All right, guys, you can download the MyFitnessPal app. Super easy. That's it. Wait, but Brandon, what about those Cristiano Ronaldo abs? How do I get those? Here's the thing, guys. Cristiano is just incredibly lean. If you want to get abs like that, you just have to remove more body fat. So if you want to do that, you have to follow the tutorial advice that I gave you earlier in this video. You need to be doing at least three to four workouts a week that are high intensity, and you need to be lifting weights at least two to three times a week as well. If you can get these three pieces together, 
then you're going to be able to create the Ronaldo physique. It's all about staying lean. It's all about being consistent. Yes, you're not going to get it in one week, but if you stay after it, if you apply the principles you learned in this video, you're going to look like that guy, and you're going to look God dang good. I've also linked up our video for how to get a six-pack because it's a lot of the principles that I talked about here in the video, but of course here I'm talking specifically about Ronaldo's body, and if you want to know really some more tactics on that, go ahead and click the link down in the description as well. Everything you need is in the description, so make sure you check that out. If you stay consistent, you're going to look like that dude Ronaldo.